Welcome back, my beautiful friend, to an episode of Meant to Bloom. I apologize for not warning you that I was going on a brief hiatus. I didn't really realize that I was going to. Um, One thing just kept piling on top of another. Like, I got super busy in, like, real life doing, um, like, a two-day market, and my mom came with me this time, so it was fun, but it was, you know, designing her market booth at the same time, and then, um, you know, I was in a public space that used to be a Kmart, and I got sick for a while and you can still kind of hear it in my voice that the sick has come and gone back and forth a little bit um but i just got busy and then i got sick and then i didn't feel up to it and i didn't feel inspired and i was like well i don't want to show up just to show up i want to pour into you guys you know i like to come here and just fill you up and you know i'm not here for me just to show up like here I am. Look at me every week. Um, I'm not that (laughs) I'm, I only want to show up if I have something to say to you and I couldn't articulate anything at the time or, you know, there was a brief few days where I didn't even have a voice. Um, I was a very in the throat kind of sick, uh, which also kind of sucked because I was doing a, a be seen challenge with my, my business mentor and one of my favorite, you know, mom, uh, mom entrepreneur coaches, uh, with Ali Casaza. And that was so much fun. And I got to see so many of the other women in there posting their stories. And it was so like, you know, with so much emotion and really getting used to telling your story. And I love telling my story. I have told it before episode six and episode 88, both hold the bulk of my story, like in detail. And I really wanted to jump on and start sharing on social media, like everyone else, but I haven't been feeling social media either. Um, so sorry if I've been in my A and you were concerned and worried. Uh, I did not have too many people reaching out, so I don't think you guys were really that worried. I think maybe you guys have been busy too. Um, I don't know. I do see that a lot of you have been uh, digging into some older episodes a lot, still, you know, still listening to me, even though I'm not here. So I do appreciate that. And I love that. And I love that I've been able to put out content that that lasts, you know? It's not like social media where I post or I don't post and you see it when I post or you don't ever see it. Um, I do love that you guys can come on the podcast and you can just search through two years now of archives. Is it two years or coming up to three? Wow. It's been a while. Thank you guys for holding on to me, holding on with me for so long. Um, I'm going to cut this short now because I want to keep these episodes a quickie. Uh, you can actually expect now that I'm back today. Yay. Um, I'm recording this Monday morning, um, like in real time. Monday morning to post this Monday morning. Um, yes, I, I will go back to my regular every Wednesday posting. Um, but this week you're going to get five episodes from me Monday through Friday, and we are going through the mindset realign challenge. I created this challenge like three, maybe even, yeah, like three years ago. I might've created it unofficially four years ago for myself and then created it as a workbook and product for you guys a few years back. Um, it's been available a few times here and there, like through my Etsy store or through, um, like individual sales and stuff. I do have the workbook available to buy. If you want to have the workbook and go through it regularly, it's 13 pages long, I believe. Um, it's, uh, it'll be posted in the description below. Um, if you want that, uh, cause I do, I, I printed it out. I like having it physically in front of me to look through it and to go through it, but grab a journal, notebook, pen. Uh, We're going to go through day one of my mindset realign challenge. Okay. Cause I need this. It's spring and I have so much to say about spring and how I'm just, I feel like a squirrel. (laughs) Like I spent all winter hibernating and now it's spring and I'm so excited to just do all the things. And I'm going to go find all the nuts that I buried last fall and wait, no, they don't find nuts right now. Okay. Scratch that whatever. Okay. Diving into day one. Let's move on. All right. Setting intentions is day one. Okay. So a life without intention is like just drifting in a sea without a destination. If you don't know where you're going, how can you expect to get there? Okay. Now let me read to you directly from the workbook. So, I mean, you don't have to go buy it, but if you like it physical, you can have it. Um, in order to live our lives with intention, we must know what our intentions are. I mean, obviously doy, right? But did we stop and think about that? We must ask ourselves questions to understand what is really important to us and seek a life that makes these a priority. 
A life without intention is like drifting in a sea without a destination. You might be moving great distances. You might be paddling for hours on end, exhausting yourselves, especially if you're a mom, right? You're putting in work every day, but are you getting anywhere? But if you don't know where you're going, you'll never get there. If you don't know where you're going, you'll never get there. Setting the intent for your life and each day is like charting a course. Every day, the time will pass and you'll keep putting in the effort, whether it gets you anywhere or not. Every day is an opportunity to move closer to your destination, your goals, your mission. Every day is an opportunity to fulfill your purpose. Okay, my goodness. Setting intentions is so important. And I have a few episodes on intention that I will go ahead and link in the description below if you want to listen more on the things I have to say, but I do want to keep this episode short, so I'm not going to go deep dive into it right now. Um, Coffee break. Okay. I have so much phlegm in my nose still. I want to keep talking and I keep getting distracted by my own like bodily functions right now. Well, in the light of keeping it short, setting our intentions, it's like setting your course. You need to know where you're going to go. I remember pre-mindset work. I remember, you know, five, six years ago, just in the thick of it every day, putting in so much work. And it felt like I was getting nowhere because I never decided where I actually wanted to go. I had this, this like broad, vague, like idea of what being a successful mom would be like. I had this vague idea of what I thought I should be doing and who I thought I should be for other people in my life. And I had not stopped to think, what do I actually want my life to look like every day? I've been waking up lately because every day has not been that great. I have not been living in my intention. I have not been focused. I've been healing and recovering and resting and, you know, getting bounced back and forth from thing to thing. We just had Easter. Um, you know, I've had some markets, I've done some planning, like I've been doing things, but also trying to not do anything so that I can heal. And it's been very without intention. It's been very like intention for today is we're going to clean the house for Easter tomorrow. Um, it hasn't been broad spectrum, uh, intention for my whole life. What do I want my life to look like on my deathbed? Like, what do I want people to reflect and think of me when I'm gone? hasn't been thinking big idea intention, but I have been waking up lately knowing that I'm very misaligned and thinking if I woke up and you know, we had a groundhog's day. All right. Or if you, if you've seen groundhog's day or Russian doll or any of these, you know, like there's this idea that you wake up and you live the same day over and over and over again, like literally exactly the same day. And I keep thinking to myself as I'm going through the motions, if I woke up and today was a groundhog day, if this is the day I had to live on repeat, how would I feel about that? What would I be doing differently if I knew tomorrow was going to be exactly the same as today? I've been trying as I'm being bounced back and forth between all of the things to do to keep that in mind as I'm focusing on like the micro tasks of the day. Um, as I catch myself getting distracted by video games on my phone and as I catch myself not doing the things that need to be done. And I'm like, if every day is going to be Groundhog Day, yeah, I'd like to wake up to a clean kitchen every single day. That'd be cool. So I'm going to take the time to clear out my sink instead of playing, you know, water sort on my phone for four hours. Um, and I will tell you, I did do that. I was sick. So, I mean, <laughs> I watched all of you. Um and played water sort for hours. <laughs> Anyways, so let's dive into the questions. I We're already close to 10 minutes. I don't want to get this too long. Um, I know I love the bonding. We have so much to catch up on, but I'm going to be in your ear every day for five days this week. So we'll, we'll spread it out. It'll be cool. Um, so here's your three questions. This is why I said grab a notebook and a pen. All right. I mean, maybe you've already been taking notes. Do you take notes on my podcast? I would love to know if you take notes. I would love to see your notes. Honestly, put them on social media and like tag me so I can see what your notes for each episode are. I would love to see that. Um, remember my Instagram handle is at Britt Clarkson. Uh, that's Britt with one T Clarkson, just like Kelly. Um, if you don't already follow me, go get connected. Send me a DM. I'd love to chat with you. Um, I really, really would like, honestly, DM me on Instagram. That's the best way. I'd love to chat with you guys. Um, anyways, 
day one homework or work. Okay, question one, what's your life goal? What's the one thing you wanna be remembered for and who do you want to be? Okay, this one can take some thought. I want you to think about this, take time. Like write these down and come back to it when you're not listening to me. Put on some like soft music, some, uh, I don't know what it's called, like meditation style music and just sit with it. Uh, if it's a nice day today, like it is here where you're at, then go sit outside, get grounded in nature, breathe that fresh air while you're thinking this, you know, get away from the stressful triggers of your day, uh, being in your home, unless you have a really soft spot in your home that you just absolutely love. It's your peaceful place. Go there. Um, but go somewhere where you're not distracted by stress and do this. And I realize a lot of us are moms and kids count as a distraction and a stress. Um, this is gonna, this is tomorrow. We'll talk about gratitude. It'll help with the way you view that a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, number two, what's going on in your life that doesn't support this goal or version of you? Where's the gap? Where's the disconnection? What are you doing in your every day that is not aligned with who you actually want to be, not who you think others want you to be, not who you think you should be. Who do you want to be? What do you want your day to look like? What do you want to be remembered for? What do you want to be known for by your loved ones, right? And question number three, how can you live more intentionally each day to become your ideal self and support your life goal? Keep it small. What small thing can you do? What thing can you stop doing, right? Because I know for me, it's like screen time. If I can cut out more screen time, I have more time to actually do the things that I want to be remembered for. I don't want to be remembered for getting to like a really high level on some stupid phone app. I don't want to remember for, you know, being on Instagram all of the time. Like I don't, and I'm sure you guys don't either. So get aligned, get thinking about it. This is just about setting your intention and deciding what do you want your life to look like? If it was Groundhog's Day, what would you want your day to be, right? If you're on your deathbed, what do you want your family to be saying about you, like at your funeral? What do you want to be remembered for, known for? Okay, that's your intention. All right, friend, I love you so much. I'll be in your ear again tomorrow. Thanks for being here.